Your internal blocks and limiting personal beliefs are holding you back from becoming the entrepreneur that you were born to be. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael and I believe that hungry entrepreneurs deserve help. So today I'm answering a question from one of the people who bought my worksheets named Shiraz. And Shiraz wrote in saying she wants to create a website to help entrepreneurs overcome their internal blocks and induce an internal drive towards excellence. And she wanted my advice on how to do this online. Thanks for the question, Shiraz. This is an awesome business. I love this concept. The things that hold entrepreneurs back, it's not lack of money, it's not lack of resources, it's not what gender you are, it's not what country you're born in. It's the belief that those things hold you back. Limiting personal beliefs are holding you back. If you look at any entrepreneur in the world, how they got started, if you look at the famous ones, the ones who had a lot of success, it was hard. Entrepreneurship is hard, period. And it doesn't matter where you come from or who your parents are or how much money you had. The most successful entrepreneurs in the world are often the ones who came from absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. They didn't have the world handed to them on a plate. But they also didn't believe that anything was holding them back. Any shortcomings they had in their life, they believed that they could go out and accomplish it. I love this concept. And if you're going to do it online, my advice, first of all, is try to create a resource, a directory, to first create awareness. First step is awareness. Because too many entrepreneurs, they're not aware that they have limiting personal beliefs. They believe that they're too old to start a business. And so they don't start a business. Or they do, but they'll believe that they'll never be really successful because they're too old. Or too whatever. So you have to find a way to let them know. You share articles, you share examples, you share stories. You tell them that guys like Ray Kroc from McDonald's didn't start McDonald's until he was in his 50s. Colonel Sanders didn't start Kentucky Fried Chicken until he was in his 60s. It's possible if you believe it's possible. So if it were me, I'd create an online directory, a resource guide for all the different limiting and personal beliefs that are the most common ones that you're finding for entrepreneurs. Step two is a commitment to change. It's understanding that you have this limiting personal belief and you want to change it. So making them fill out a form, making them acknowledge that they have this limiting personal belief and that they want to make a change. And then third, you need to have a way to reinforce it. Because some of these beliefs are so ground into us, they're so ground into you, it's been years and years and years of believing this. It's hard to make a change in an instant. One day you might be really motivated and really believe you're on top of the world. And then the next day you're back in the dumps. You had a bad day and you're back to thinking, oh, I'm too old, I'm not gonna make this happen. So you need to share with these people resources on an ongoing basis. Share with them success stories. Share with them examples. Share with them famous entrepreneurs as well as people from your site who've had success. Keep that positive reinforcement going. And if needed, maybe they can sign up for a coaching call with you or a coach that you really enjoy working with. And that could be a revenue model for you, an opportunity to drive you know, new business for your company. You're definitely targeting a market that is absolutely needed. Too many entrepreneurs just don't believe in themselves fully. They're holding themselves back. You are holding yourself back with your limiting personal beliefs. If you can answer the following question and say, I won't succeed because whatever's in there, that's holding you back. And it shouldn't because you can achieve it. You can go after any goal you want. It's only in your head. If you think you can, you can. Good luck. Thanks for the question. Let me know how it goes because I'm really interested. Uh, I might post some articles on there or share some expertise. I'd love to help out if I can. For those of you watching, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. I love seeing those come in. And if you have a question about this video or a question for your own business, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I always read those and I love seeing them come in. So thank you and I'll see you on the next episode.